The quote goes, If this story is written only for myself, then so be it. But it doesn't feel that way. I feel you out there, reader. This is the only kind of intimacy I'm comfortable with. Just the two of us, here in the dark. This is called Poem to My Twitter Crush. <laughs> Girl, believe me, it's better this way. Layers and layers of code between us. The thickness of a country's collective obsession with the fucks that it will not give. <laughs> Board game nights are out of the question. I probably should have led with that. Forgive me. Or don't. I am a gigantic bucket of assholes curdling in the sun. This is not going well, is it? Starting over. Your eyes are exquisite. Your mouth is like a harp I want to put my mouth all over. <laughs> If there was such a thing as vampires, your neck would be a holy destination. What I mean is, it looks like there's a lot of blood in it. <laughs> Am I doing this right? I'm, I'm flirting at you. Are you flirting back at me? Thank God I can't see you. I saw a waitress's wrist once and my eyeballs turned to ash. What are you thinking about right now? I'm thinking about kissing you and a little about banana pancakes and needing a job because both of my accounts are overdrawn and I don't want to live at my dad's house anymore. Are you touching yourself? <laughs> Me neither. I love my body when I imagine it differently. Los Angeles. On Twitter it says I live at Arby's, but that's a joke. Sometimes I confuse jokes with wishes. <laughs> that was also a joke. I'm saying I make stuff, and when people love the stuff I make, I pretend it means that they love me. It is very important that people love the stuff I make. Speaking of buffers, I haven't been to the gym in a long time. Sometimes people tell me I'm not as fat as I think I am, and it makes me feel invalidated. For years and years, it was the only thing I worked at. I hate myself when I think it makes me interesting. You probably get that a lot. Holy shit, I hope I'm not freaking you out. <laughs> I, I am not the kind of weird that you are probably afraid of. I am much, much worse. <laughs> A remarkable woman loved me once, and I have never forgiven her. Oh, I punish her in my dreams, chain her to my burning heart, and feed her buckets of dead butterflies, lol. <laughs> Anyway, I'm 30 and single and terrified of your hands. Sometimes I sit alone in restaurants and imagine cutting up a waffle for my future daughter. Her name is Isabel and she is four and a half. Her hair is frizzy and she wears little round glasses. And I can't imagine how she got there. Oh, my God. 